Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. And welcome back guys, James here, and here we are again on a new playthrough, a new game. So I want to apologize first if you are all subscribed from my animation video, which is the one from Deltarune or something else. I want to tell everybody that I'm also a Let's Play channel, well, mainly on that, and a video game dev. So if you guys are not very interested with this, it's fine. I really want to play this game. I want to make a want to make a playthrough of it. So here it is. Inscription. Um believe it or not, believe it or not, um I I seen a demo of this like way back when it used to be when it used to be a part of Game Jam. Um it was originally to be called as, well, it was originally going to be called as Sacrifices Must Be Made. The gameplay felt more like um, Hearthstone or PVZ Heroes or any of those games that has lanes and, you know, special effects and all those kind of things. Um, this game is actually old by now, but it was recently released a, a few days ago. And I've already seen a couple of YouTubers already playing it. And... I want to play a card game again, like, I haven't finished Battle Network and I haven't even made the third episode again. I'm not really sure if you guys are gonna like this one, I really hope, I really hope this is this will worth it, but I really want to make a, a play to a Let's Play series on this game, specifically. Because this isn't my first time playing a horror game, it's also a card game. Um, I remember I did a video back then with another indie game, and it was called Lamia's Game Room. And the premise is basically the same thing, except instead of making your own deck, you're basically just, you're basically just a poker game. But with this one felt a bit more different, so this is pretty much it, but I didn't went too far. I think I only made it the first part where I can, I can get to explore the cabin, and that's pretty much it. So here it is, inscription. Oh, weird. I can't seem to activate new game right now, so continue. My apologies again if this game's a bit laggy. Um, I have a different recording set right now. So there are a bit of things here that could actually hinders a lot of the of the video. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. There we go. Play the squirrel card. So, the gameplay of this starts really simple so far. I think it's gonna get a bit difficult later on because I haven't, I have not yet seen the the horror aspect and the well the challenge here because basically here's what you need to do um see those red see those red droplets here those blood droplets here um this in order to activate these cards or actually play these cards you have to at least sacrifice a unit or another card for instance the squirrel here so i think they'll just explain the game now i'll place it here for a while now play your stoat now I can now get to sacrifice. So this is where the originally in the game jam version, this is where the whole sacrifice must be made title kind of thing. But it kind of makes more sense in the original. So I'm not really sure why they changed it, but I, I'm really I'm going to see why. An honorable death, play the stoat. So now my cars has one damage and three health points. Oh sorry. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. I don't know if the building of stuff is shaking. Okay, so your stone stand on a pose. The number of the bottom left is its attack power, which is one.
Your stone dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stone stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote deals 2 damage to your stone. That means your stone health is 2 less. If a creature health reaches 0, it dies. Now it's your turn again. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. So this is where it gets interesting. You, you have a choice whether you want to draw another squirrel so that way you can get free sacrifice. Or you want to deck more actual, actual, offensive, def actual offensive, defensive and support cards. A squirrel is basically a way. So basically, your currency here. You, squirrels literally have currency if you think about it. How dumb. Hey, don't judge me. Okay, so I'll get it down here. Okay, sorry about that. I'm just checking the controls. Okay, so technically, I I don't really, I think I don't need first to sacrifice this toad because I think this. And because in the next turn, I'll be dealing with the coyote, which is only one health. So in short, the stone will keep itself alive. And that's it. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Because you are learning, I will pass. Okay. Again, the choice. The banner card from your deck or the certainty of the squirrel. And, that, and here's the thing I'm really not sure yet, because I want, I'm not sure if you guys haven't played this game yet, but... The one thing I want to see to want to confirm is that are the squirrels infinite? Are the are the squirrel cards infinite? Because I have never been running out of these cards before, so I guess that could be it. And also, plus, are the other cards, the monster cards, are actually have a, a limit, like like a deck limit, like I could get more than thirty or something? Because I'm soon getting more, and it doesn't seem to be any limit anytime soon. So uh, enough talking, I'll just based on the card and then uh, sacrifice the one. Uh, sacrifice, uh, sacrifice the two squirrels to make a Wait, I didn't know- Oh! I didn't notice that, um... Do you see the, the squirrels actually changing expressions? I, I thought that was just me. Okay. Or damage dealt, or weight to skill. So actually, the, the amount of HP I need to beat him is only five, but I'm guessing that that he will start scaling up and down. So the total number could be here is reaching from five to ten. So okay, that that'll be interesting to note. You won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. And now we start the game. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. A caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Behold the rule book. So I can actually check the effects here. The effects are basically decisions, so touch of death. When a card bearing decision damage another creature, that creature perishes. So this is basically the 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 toxic the toxic effect from the hearthstone, which is basically anything that deals damage will instantly KOs the card. Basically it's a one hit kill. How about this one? The undying and sacrificing poor beast does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. So the last one I managed to I managed to I haven't checked the cat yet, but I heard that the cat is actually much more useful because apparently according to Sigil, when a card bearing decision is sacrificed, it does not perish. So I can actually keep on sacrificing the cat without even the need to draw more squirrels. Actually I still need more squirrels, but the thing is I have, I have one free deck that I can always use again and again. So, this one seems to be more useful. I'm gonna try this deck for a while. Another creature to join your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willingly to follow you. But this one. You came across an abandoned sack. 
You found a spur in the bottle. Break in case of emergency. So the items are now being introduced. You, you can also have items in during battles. So it's a free scroll. You have a seven. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the skills with it. You now I need appliers for. Well, they said you can tip the skills, so apparently that's going to be painful. Three as much as you can carry. So actually, the, the maximum limit here is actually three items. Okay, that'll be in the first battle. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You didn't sacrifice me. How kind, maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now be seeing my moves ahead of time. Oh dear. So what's this one? A uh, fledgling. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Oh dear. I can't, I can't recognize that, that effect before. Um, Okay, so I just need to sacrifice this and Stoat. Yeah, Stoat will. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's a, that would be a useful card. Man. There we go. So, can I tell more cards? Can I remind you your items may help? Okay, dude. You can't draw a card on your first one. Oh, okay. So. So we need our scroll in order to draw more of the river snapper. There we go. Minded vicious wolf club, wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Oh dear. Oh. I might keep the river snapper for a while. I'm starting to think this next turn, this thing will transform. Wait, what's that? What's that one? A bat. Airborne. A card bearing this sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Oh, so basically this is a strike through effect. Basically this will start attacking the player itself. So we should try to get rid of that quickly. Um, I'm not sure if I can sacrifice this girl right now. I might need to do that in the next turn because for the next fit, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this one. I think we can do it. Just saving my cards for a while. Oh. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oof, that's a lot of damage. Ha, my black flew right over their stoat. Oh dear. So, let me. A wolf. Um, let's see, let's see. One, six, three, two. Okay. I think this might be the time. Okay. And sacrifice the wolf. My sacrifice. I keep on mixing up my words here. So I press this one and then. There you go. Okay, the boulder's down. And I might need another squirrel. I think we got this. I think we got this. There we go. And that's it. You prevail and trek onwards past the now bloody terrain. Let's see, the young wolf club. It grows to wolf after a single turn. A meat sprout, an expensive, a feeble lying creature. Oh. So in my last in, the, in my last playthrough in the demo. I think I choose the Sparrow. I think it was almost... I think I kind of regret it because... I think the problem here is that I don't have cards I can actually defend later on. So I might need the Wolf Cub. I think I, I might need the Wolf Cub later on. So let's try this one. That reminds me, can I... Oh, I can't. Well, I can only look at my items. You stumble into some strange stone in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, only one that will be lost forever. So this word gets interesting. Hmm. So what's making it interesting is that I could actually take the effect of one of the sigils here. So 
If I place a cat here, then the card that's about to be powered up will have the will have the undying effect. You look upon your man menagerie and select the healthy host. Stoke, you really want to do it? <laughs> what an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. Okay, then let's go. What's this again? Oh no. Behold my totem, and inscribed my canine cards with an airborne sigil. Ah, yeah. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. When it keeps me around, but watch me suffer. Stop. Don't press the bell. Is there anything here? I can actually check. Jack is something strong. That's pretty much it. It's this one. Airborne. Oh no. So card. Oh, so this is actually giving power. It's giving. It's giving more effects to the other cards. So basically, if I remember correctly. One. So this one is actually giving effects to canine cards. Oh no. Um. Have you forgotten the items I gave you? Okay, dude, just, just, I, I need to talk here. Okay, dude, um, okay. First, I need to do the effect here. Okay, which one can handle more? I think I should place Stoat here, back on the field. Can I even draw cards? Oh, yeah, first turn, can I be drawn out? Okay. One card. My totem has spread my totem the power of flight. Oof. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, there. Okay, we need to scroll right now. And then the wolf. Take care of them. Take care of them both. And then. They should at least kill them. There we go. Oh, there. There's another one. Um. Yeah, we just need more squirrels later on. We can't do anything right now. Yeah, it's basically going up and down. They're four damage away from winning. That's still far away. Actually, I think I think the main advantage of having the enemy having the airborne sigil is that they can't even attack any of my cards. So that could be useful. I think I just into it. Okay, then we sacrifice. Oh, careful. Okay. There we go. Keep them busy. I think I'm good to go. Right? Just need that scroll instead. Yeah, I'm good to go. Oh, I like that. Impressive, you may yet survive this ordeal. Not good. What we have? The Proud Wolf, a vicious contender. What's this? The monster's grizzly, its form speaks enough of its efficacy. Oh, that's a lot of sacrifices. An orny poker mine, only porcupine, sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Oh boy. Shield damage. I think this is shield damage, right? It has to be shield damage. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing the city is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Oh. So do I want shield? I think I might need the porcupine. This is basic because I need more co cheap cards. Oh dear. So now I have given more. This, this one I think is just sacri more sacrifices in order to upgrade your card. So this one's basically just. I think if I remember correctly, this is the campfire part. Yeah, there we go. You came across a small group of survivors. Face shrunken from starvation, they, sh they huddled around a campfire. They look upon your group of creatures and beckon. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. 
warm it by the fire. They will enhance its power, said another. He noticed one of their survivors wiping drool from their mouth. This one's actually... This actually kind of terrifies me because... I'm not sure if there's a chance that all of my cards will be, will be gone because from, from, the, from the text alone, it makes me thinking... It makes me think that there might be a moment where one of my cards will be get eaten alive or something. I think my best thing to improve stones right now. There we go. Fire warmed the poor stone and had its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Where the word you pulled the stone away from the fire and left. Wonder if stone can die here. That's the one thing I always wonder. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is where it comes to play. And of course, he has to grizzly. Oh no. Oh no. These are not good cards. These are really not good cards. Oh, I'm so screwed. Attorney Rebuke. I don't like where this is going. Oh yeah, there's no way. There's no way I could counter this. Even with more squirrels, there's literally no way. They're all they're all airborne. Oh, that's a lot. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me a concert from atop the bow and beside the door. And this is the part I can get to explore, okay. So this is the part where I stop, I think. Yeah, this is the part where I stop, because I don't want to go too far from this game. This actually not a lot pretty here going on right now. Yeah, I really need some clues here. Yeah, basically not. Oh dear. There's a lot of things going on though. Can I get out? No big statue dudes. Okay. What is actually going on right now? Did you do anything? Well, it gets into that some kind of lamp here. Okay. Not much on there. So there's not really much else we can do. Well, I can grab this one. Oh well, yeah, you really need it. I think I can see a bit of your face there right, for some reason. It's much the lighting. Now sit back. Sit back down, sorry. Let me explain something to you. This was one of your two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? So I have basically two lives. I think I may need more cards. The deck I have so far is not a lot. Okay, so... Wolf, I mean, how dead I think. Sparrow on the chance. I need another cat! Oh boy, do I really need another cat? I'm really tempted. Okay, fine. I think I already sacrificed a cat, so I might be using that later on. Hmm. You can't make more than three items. Oh, yeah. Oh, for oh, forgot. And you'll have three. He said, perhaps I'll accept this gift from a, from my friend. Hey, look, it's a rat. What the? Display, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. A pretty pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Okay, so basically it gives me an item during fights. Is there a way to I can check the deck? I wonder if I can. 
Oh dear. The tree seems to close in around you as a chill must the chill mist descend. In the distance you could hear the tinking of metal and stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. What the He heard this was the inspector the prospector. Well that's an interesting take. Is this a boss fight? Unpack Mule Coyote. A sprinter. At the end of the owner's turn, a card during this sigil will move in the direction described in sigil. Oh, so this is one of those movement cards. Oh no. So if I try attacking there, they'll start. Oh, oh. This is our not good cards. Wait, how much is this one? One and one. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. The river snapper needs one. No. Crap. That one has two. Oh, no. Unless. Unless. Okay, fine. I'll get another spell. Okay, I should, I should keep my deck holding up. What the? Oh, this is gonna be a bit difficult. Um, I think I can place my wolf cub here until it starts growing. Okay, what's that? What's that underneath it? What the heck is that? Okay, 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 what the heck is that? Burlor, when an empty space will be struck, a card during the sigil will move to a space to receive the strike instead. So, basic defender? He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mule scheme. Ah, uh, cruise bit, yeah. Oh no. I really need a scroll next turn. Just keep it busy. There, no scroll. Wait, I think I can handle this round. I think. Yeah, I just need to handle this round. There we go. Oh, didn't notice that. Hope you didn't think it would be that easy. I didn't know you have two lives. I forgot. Oh, no. That there's gold in them cards. What the? No, no. I think that that's useful. Gold. Abstract gold. Oh no. Wait. Go, don't get ahead of yourself. You need to draw a card first. Uh. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, put it here. I put stout here. And have an easy supply. This spot? You sure? Well, I have no choice. Get him. Oh, oh crap. Oh, there. Oh, there. And I have a wolf to counter that. Huh. Wait, I haven't checked this one, sorry. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. So it basically tries to. So basically, it tries to jump to that to space where I placed the card down. Oh, so this is an actual defender card. Okay, so is that what you can do? Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, what's this thing again? When a card bearing decision is played, you will sit around him as long as you have less than three items. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. oh, that's a lot of health. Oh, that's a lot of health. I think I might be screwed here. Or I get a new item, I guess. Scroll port to find other spiral. Dad, now made my meal. Oh no, 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 no. 
Uh, wait, I think it's gonna be two in this room. I want to know you can go, yeah, 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 get it, yes. Mark this one. Wait, I think we can actually win this. We spiral. Then play. There we go. Oh, that was close. Allow me to like your counts once more. I won't be kidding you quite yet. Oh, that was close. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Do I get to find do we have to find Exodia? This level of Buddhist strength needs no explanation. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of sacrifices. The largely unimpressive specimen. What uh well, Oh he has the boost card. A poor abandoned child, it does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? Oh, this is tough. I think I might try to get a strange larva because I already have a card that does this. But I'm starting to think there's more to that card. It has to be a rare card for a reason. But I want to try a different card with a different effect. I might try this one. Now what? The sound of brass feathers pick that's still ringing in your ears you carried onwards. Hmm. Oh, it's, this is different now. The right smell of rot and mold permeated the human air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip of sin. We tread cautiously into the wetlands. I actually like this, not gonna lie. It reminds you of, of a dungeon master, like a dungeon master kind of thing. You should explore, I mean. Is there anything here that's new? Nah. I might need to be keeping an eye for that. Is there anything here I can clip? You said right now, sorry. Well, I've no choice to do this yet. Somebody have. A fervent mantis, its, it's prime claws strike both to the left and the right. That's useful. Another. An elusive otter is submerging itself during my turn. So, this one, Waterborn, her bearing decision to submerge itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, those posing creatures attack its owners directly. So, another airborne kind of thing? But in here, by furcated strike, a card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Oh, it reminds me of the Trade Peter card. I wonder if this thing will also attack the middle. For looks like it's only attacked to the left and the right, but this one looks useful. This one has more use for this. Oh, dear. This one has to totem. them. This one has to regular fight. I'm not really doing this. I haven't do a to I haven't do a sacrifice yet. Too. Okay, which among you guys want to have a powered up? Should I upgrade Stoat again? Oh my dear. This one's useful, but oh dear. I think I might try the porcupine instead. Oh, no stoat. Actually, yeah, wait, river snap on this one. Oh, I got a shield damage in time with full health. Now what? There is a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Oh. I hope you're asking right, Stones. Oh, it's drink the pupa. Wait, are we gonna attack something? Wait, what's this? A creature adjacent to a card bearing this sigil will gain one power. Oh no, wait. So. So if I actually. Oh no. Oh no, um, Stone, you're gonna die soon because the next one is an actor. Oh no. So if I get this, if i reading this right, does this mean that includes the stump? Oh no. 
Well, this is gonna hurt a lot. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. Okay, I know it's gonna be the problem here. I don't even have any more cards. Oh, never mind. I, I forgot I have it. Oh, I was sticking too much. I, I, I keep on forgetting I need only five, five hit points in order to finish the game. Okay, so. Um, what's this? We must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific miss, but decide the cause that you wish to play. One, two, three. I think I'll go with one. A mass sent maybe. It's no less than honey by the incubation. Right from which a cost of one. What were you expecting? Oh, that's bad. I can have a copy with that. I can do with that. It's a lot of health over there. I think the mantis will do. Now the mantis was enhanced by the ward. And as the one survivors began pulling a knife from the pocket, you would do. I hope, I hope it doesn't happen, all these kind of things. Oh. Shield damage, oh no. Yup, definitely shield damage, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, well, no, wait, 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 wait. If I place the cat here first, then the mantis. Yeah, definitely the mantis. And place it here. This will guard my, my stuff. And then the larva, the larva can actually take more of the hits. There you go. Two hits, okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a good. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Whoa, 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 watch this. Seven damage every perseverance is you strike an opponent even if there's a creature opposing it. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I now choose the right card. Well, that's, that's pretty much it. How brutal of you. You don't need more damage than you need to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tool to keep for each extra damage dealt. A trapper may be interested in your spells. Oh! Oh man, who dealt more damage with that one? Yeah, I could have dealt more damage. So far, this game is actually getting interesting now. Over on her, watch the blue fun, it's no way attacking flyers. Raven, how much raven? A blight upon the skies. I think I might need the raven now for the otter. I'm gonna get the otter instead. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power. Pitch something else. Can I, can I actually get out of here? Oh no, I don't like that. Enhance its power. Oh no. Oh no. There's something's off here. There's something off here. Please, please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill it. The survivors were right about the flames. They enhanced the creature's power. For a few of the survivors drooling, you made a piece of the Oh, thank god. Oh, you're gonna be kidding me, boat. So this is time. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of damage. Ah, uh, it's only one. I'm probably getting. I'm probably I'm getting good cards right now. Where's an uh, omnipresent lung? Bursting emerges to block any non-born attacker. Blocks attacks. An available beehive wins attack. If you know, wait attack, you will draw a bee. The Star Wars snapper near impenetrable defense. I really haven't snappers. I'm just. What is this? What is this? Might take the beehive for now. My boss bows are high states. Test of your aptitude. With one thing, you will either overcome them or die. Oh, screw you. Fear not. I will let you keep the smoke. Smoke? 
A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler, goldfish. Oh no, no, what? What's the gimmick here? I don't like the sound, it's so terrifying. I think fish are up a bit. Oh, that's not good. So I can actually deal off. I'm not sure this is the right move, to be honest. Which fish are choose? What? 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 Okay, I need a smell. What the heck's going on? What do you do? Oh. Fresher fish, easy choose. Oh. It redirects it. So if I do this. Ah, oh, I saw tax it. What did it do? Oh, it pushes up. Mine now. Go fish. Okay, okay, okay. That's all I can do. I don't like where this is going. Oh, that's the first phase. Too fast, too soon. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Mighty Lib. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Those are eight freaking bears! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, screw you, man. Can I? Wait, I can use this, right? Oh, 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 that's it? Oh, well, I earned point of damage. I don't think you're really doing it. That's it? Only one point? Well, I'm screwed. I'm very screwed. Oh, screw you, man. I was having a good deck. Huh, go fish. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Oh, that sucks. Now what? Oh, I can actually see you better now. You have a beard. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. What do you mean? Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. You will like memento. Your very own deck card. Do I get to make a card? It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to mend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, only one. Because of one block from the Raven. Another one. And another, this time I will use its power and help the numbers. Uh, just the wolf, I suppose. Three and two health from the wolf. No. Choose a card from which will extract the sieges. Oh no. I mean, this is really great, but. Oh, uh, there are some cards I have much better than this. Oh no. What is card bear decision to strike a beast in your hand? A beast to find us one power, one well, 
airborne. Come on, I can already check. There's a lot of cards here. Holy crap, there's a lot of cards here. There's a lot of packs here. I said your bees would from the beehive. I never did ask for you your name. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Pray to it. Then I know. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Oh. Do I get to make Oh no. Are you ready? Do you don't need to smile? We have actually want to start. Here we go again. We are a challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. Bones? The search for a possum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes. Perishes for any reason. Oh, that's... Wait. No. No! Oh man. That sucks. Yeah, we go. On the deck of your creature, you gain a bone. Oh, it will be anyone. You will not lose this until it's spent or the battle ends. Want a rattler? Seriously? <laughs> I can actually do this. And there we go, I think that's pretty much it. I kind of bit bummed that the upgrades are removed. I'm a really good deck, to be honest. And we went from back from the start. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Yeah, but fetch it for me. It's beside the sink. Okay, um, before we do anything else, I think that's pretty much it for, for like now. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this game, um, for now. Um, I hope you guys, I hope you guys want to get to see more, um, to be fair, this, I actually get intrigued, I really like this, so, it has some rogue, it has some rogue-like elements to it. So, every time I die, we'll get to make a new card. So, this card will get powerful and powerful until I get better cards. Oh, interesting. I think there's something new right now in this room. So anyway, I think that's pretty much it for the now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Okay, does it move up here? I'm actually knowing. Does it move? Okay, and then vanish here. There we go. Oh, he, he is very weak. I should honestly start using that right now. Like. Seriously, I'm gonna put a time bomb on me. Dude, you see this Mega Buster? Is he actually planning time bombs once his health so low? I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna stand here and stare at you. Unless you're gonna flash me again, aren't you?